What's up, everybody? This is Dad to bring you guys another video. I was actually going to make a video with gameplay with a commentary over it, so you guys wouldn't have to see my face, but I had to allow you to see my face because this news makes me more cynical about the Nintendo NX release. Wherever that comes out, I don't care this year or next year. The point is, this information that came from uh, Crave Online, another source for M4G, which I don't know if it directs you towards the same website, Crave Online, but the, the, the title is this. Developer guarantees that in Nintendo's NX won't have third-party support. Okay, Nintendo hold this L. Let me get a sip of this Coke real quick. You can hold this L because again, Nintendo does not learn. These Japanese, this Japanese company with their ridiculous ego and their arrogance still has not learned. Assuming this is true, has not learned from the past since the N64. There's been a huge declination of third party support since the Nintendo, I'm uh, sorry, since the Nintendo 64. Okay. And we know third party support is what makes a console. A lot of people talk about exclusives, but a lot of the exclusives for these consoles are made by third-party developers, not by the developers themselves. Okay? If we, if we, and now let's be, let's be fair here. If Nintendo was solely making exclusives, and we're and, and and we're buying a console solely on exclusives made by the company themselves, not by other de uh, developers. Company themselves, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo making their own exclusives by their by the by the company themselves. Okay, I, I can't. There's no other way for me to say it. Nintendo would destroy Microsoft and Sony. Yes, they would. Because a lot of Sony fans, even all as much as all of Sony, are not supporting a lot of Sony franchises like in terms of sales from the past, like Medieval. Medieval has sold a million copies on the PlayStation brand. You know what I'm saying? A million copies. But and you would think of so more. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time didn't sell much. I bought, I bought that game day one. That was my 2013 game of the year. I was like, oh, come on now. But the point is, is that let's go back to the main, the, the, the meat and potatoes of this video. <laughs> I'm trying to get that. I'm sorry. I'm stealing that from one stop. Anyway, really, third-party support is essential to each console, period. We know majority of third-party developers who are making these games for their console uh, and, and it actually ends up being better than the games that are made by the companies themselves. Games like Dragon Quest, which you see behind me. Games like Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, Xenogears, Xenosaga. Xenoblade, <laughs> there's all the whole Xenos in there. Persona, okay. Digimon, Pokemon, not Pokemon. I'm sorry, it doesn't count. Uh, uh, Doom, Quake, Wolfenstein, Unreal Tournament, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Sonic, S mm, no, not that. Virtual Fighters, Street Fighter, Injustice, Mortal Kombat, Banjo Kazooie, Time Splitters. Did I say that already. Goldeneye. Do you see where I'm coming from? We can keep. I just cannot name every franchise of games developed by other companies, not by the com the, the, the consoles. <laughs> you know, um, you get the point. Oh, I'm stuttering. Basically, the point is the greatest games ever created through history have been by third party developers, and we read this information that developer guarantees that Nintendo's NX won't have third party support. This shows you that Nintendo consoles are already dead on arrival. And this makes me more cynical about the NX, okay? Assuming this is true. This makes me more cynical. Uh, yesterday, there was a news from Nintendo Life. There's a rumor saying that EA and Nintendo looking to rekindle unprecedented partnership on NX. Now, as you know, uh, EA was actually going to put a lot of their games on the Wii U. Games like uh, Mass Effect 3 Special Edition was great on the Wii U. Ran perfectly well. But the multiplayer is dead because, again, Nintendo fanboys don't support third party. Uh, at all, they don't. Not only third party, but third party uh, exclusives. They don't. Period. You know what I'm saying? They uh, and I'm not. And if you're the one who's supporting it, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking about the ones in general who don't support it. Okay? They were gonna. They were. Uh, Crisis Three was running on the Wii U. Well, probably. I think they said. I can if I, if I can remember. I think. It's, I think EA said 60 frames per second, like probably medium equivalent to medium settings for on PC on the Wii U. I was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Running on it. Crisis Three. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And Nintendo, I had a falling out with EA, and they said, we're not making our games anymore. Then everyone else started coming down the line. Square Enix said, we don't care. Um, uh, who else out there? Uh, Bethesda, no, we're not bringing Doom. We're not bringing Fallout. We're not bringing none of our IPs. To, uh, uh, we're not bringing Elder Scrolls to your uh, platform. These developers said, screw you, Nintendo. We're not making games for your platform. 
You know what I'm saying? Ubisoft was pretty much Nintendo's last, uh, last, uh, uh you know, line of defense for third party support. And, and even though I will agree that a lot of the garbage that you, Ubisoft did for the Wii U, they also do a lot of great games that, that Nintendo fans didn't support. Zombie U was, was supported by Nintendo fans. I will agree with that. Splinter Cell Black Ops was a broken game that, that, that was broken on all platforms. PC, 360, PS3, and Wii U. Everybody got screwed by that, the, by that release date. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag was not supported, barely. And that was, and now there was no issues with that game at all, no issues. So there's no reason why not to buy that game for the Wii U. That game was, there was no problems with that game for the Wii U. Okay. What else was there? Uh, Watch Dogs was delayed. It was delayed for a whole year, but it was optimized. I'm mean, not optimized on the Wii U, but it was. Uh, well, it's not optimized on the Wii U as the main priority. You get the oh God. Another reason. The point is, uh, these games, a lot of these games on the Wii U were. Uh, uh, Made by Ubisoft, and they were, uh, you know, they were running great. Rayman Legends is another one. Um, but however, the, I agree that was messed up. That was supposed to be exclusive, and they delayed it, and they shouldn't have done that. So there was there's a lot of reasons to not support certain games from Ubisoft, but it doesn't mean that you couldn't support the other ones as well. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So uh, the point is, folks, is that third party makes up a console, and yet this is what we see from Nintendo. The four generations straight, we don't. Nintendo is not learning from their mistakes. They're not learning. Period. Starting with the N64. What we have here with the N64. Okay. Nintendo was making cartridges. Okay. Sony was making a disc. It was much easier to put content on the disc. Much easier to read. Much easier to program. Okay. They lost sales. Even though there were games out there that were, that were, that were amazing. Like Resident Evil 2 were able to run on the, on the N64. They're like, wow. So Capcom's are putting more games on uh, the N64. The point is, nevertheless, the third party support declined. Okay. PS2 Days game. Nintendo started using mini DVDs. Uh, uh, another uh, media that people were not used to. They were already using already uh, established discs. This is more, uh, you know, in, in space. Okay? Okay? They were used to that. There you go. That's the declination of third parts to put there. Then we went to the Wii. A system with, which is full of gimmicks. And that was weak as hell. Weak. It's basically an overclocked GameCube. The third party support decline there, and then Wii U, a system that was not developer friendly. It's like Nintendo does not learn. They're lazy. They need to go back to the Super Nintendo day. That's when we want Nintendo to go back to. That's what I said before. Nintendo's index is the last console of this generation that I will ever support if it's not if it is indeed a good console. If it's not, I'm done. I'm not. I'm not going to be flip flopping around with Nintendo. Nintendo, I'm done with you. Again, this news is not good. This is already bad PR. Okay. Right? This is not good at all. It, 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 this is true. Okay? Because we, we've been clearing the claims that third-party support will return in, in droves uh, uh, you know, by his claim. But yet, according to the, to, to the claims here, I don't know what to say. It's polarizing. What to say? Nintendo, you better get your acts together. Real talk. Seriously, third-party support is very essential to any console. To throw off third party support like that idiot Yamaguchi who was in uh you know in office for Nintendo, you're done. Okay? Stop. You don't need to report you need y'all you need to do a better <laughs> You need to do a better job also than knowing that clown, but also Satoru Iwata. Please don't make the mistake of not having third party support. And I know you're not watching this video, I'm making this video for my fans. Okay? Nintendo, get your act together. I'm telling you.